Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm getting older and older. <laughs> 27. Yes. What's the most important lesson you learned in the past week? Okay, the most important lesson I've learned from the past week is for me the importance of compassion. You have to be like passionate about the things that you want in life. And being part of Miss Universe Philippines, I've realized that this is the thing that I'm really passionate about. And I want to be that bridge to connect to the people. If beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, in whose eyes are you beautiful? Oh, probably with, uh, in God, in my, in my family. For sure that my family is very proud of me for being here. And for sure that they can say that I'm beautiful in every way that I am. <laughs> If we truly learn from our mistakes, mm -hmm. would you advise a young person to keep making them? Okay. Uh, for me, there will always be challenges in your life. For me, I advise them to keep trying and trying until they succeed in life. But I will never suggest you keep repeating that mistake. But for them to learn from the past, learn from that mistake, and for them to move on and be better. If you have the power to do one of the following, eliminate poverty and hunger, a government with no graphic corruption or solve all environmental problems, which would you choose? For me, I would go with the poverty. My heart really goes for these people and my heart screams for them. For me, we should go with hand in hand. Poverty should go with education. For me, education is the key or the gateway to the universe and for us to have a better future in life. If you were to add to cart one item to buy in Lazada, <laughs> To send to all Filipinas to help inspire them during this time, what would it be like? Inspire them, okay? For me, being a Quindera, I've been selling tons of clothes. And for me, with clothes, I feel like a princess. And I want that people, like the ladies out there, women, to be empowered through wearing a beautiful dress for them to walk on stage and be confident in themselves. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Doing amazing, how are you? <laughs> What's the most important lesson you learned in the past week? The most important lesson I've learned in the past week would have to be the ability to adapt and stay patient. As we know, there are so many things changing around us, not only outside of our bubble here in Miss Universe Philippines, but also just in our nation and especially during all of the activities where we have sponsor shoots we don't know um, our time calls or call times and all of the scheduling that we have to do it's important for us women to be able to adapt to whatever is thrown at us and also to be able to be patient and know that everything is happening for a reason I think in God's eyes actually I know in God's eyes because I have always been very close with my God and since I was a kid I understand and even throughout my life I've always believed that God is the only person who is able to judge us and he's the only person who is able to criticize or help us and guide us so it would be in God's eyes that I'm beautiful. I would not advise them to make mistakes, but if they were to make mistakes, I would tell them that it's completely okay because our mistakes is how we grow as a person and we should take lessons from each of those mistakes in order for us to grow into better people. If you have the power to one of the following, eliminate property from earth, a governmental corruption, or solve all the environment. I would choose A, um, to diminish um, poverty and homelessness. Having experienced it myself, I know how much it can affect a person. And I think that if we do our best to eliminate poverty or to at least help alleviate the homeless, that these people can be integrated back into society and these people can turn into someone who can bring positive joy and positive light into the world and also to be able to create change that we need right now. It would have to be um, affirmation cards. 
And I've said this in my video and I still stand by it today because for me, it's something that I've always had even in high school where I take one piece of affirmation card, well in high school is a sticky note, and it would inspire me and really set my day for me. And now, especially during this pandemic where we are hurting as people and hurting as a nation, it's so important for us to really inspire ourselves. And by then, can we only inspire others? So, affirmation cards.